Hey guys, Azalea here with another Surviving Mars tutorial. I've seen a lot of discussion on Reddit and some questions floating around Twitter and on comments and videos all over the space of the internet. One of the most common things is, oh my goodness, population explosion. I have loaded a saved game file so that way we could take a peek at something that might help you. What, uh, what I did and learned by soul 700 now we're on like soul 400 in this safe is that if you open up your your dome filter filter by traits you can tell it to split people out right this is going to help your population so if i hit apply to that and then i do this over here do the same thing but in reverse split it out what i'm doing is i'm forcing i'm forcing people in separate domes and it's gonna stop them from reproducing ultimately i think that this is commentary on probably the current status of our of our own planet however i don't think I hope that we won't ever get to that extreme. But what this has done in my gameplay is it has allowed my population to relax. This is Soul 426 before I have population of 500 and 565. If I were to load the most recent version of this particular playthrough is Soul 800. I'm having I am having an issue in this particular save file where I'm having an extreme amount of colonists death and it seems to be because they're being dropped off here at the edge of a cliff and nowhere to be near a dome and I don't know why this is happening um, but it is and as you can see there's more drones shuttles dropping people off um it, it i guess i guess they're rehoming i don't know or they're they're running they seem to be running to other domes i don't know why this is the case um, but this particular dome this is the terraforming dome with the beach in it the uh, geo geoscaping wonder this filter is accepting everybody This filter should be accepting, right? So we're splitting it out. This is accepting everybody. This is the university. And this has it split out. My population with this is 25, 22. If I go to another save of this playthrough we'll go here so what happened was over time over time I brought the population down so I was at 3250 I was at 3250. My peak was at about 4000. Did I do these have the filters? So these I, this is pre-filter. So I brought the population down and also at the same time this save file has a particular breakthrough where we're making bio robots. So I'm not necessarily replacing all of humanity on Mars with robots, but it's certainly helping me keep vital things working. I believe this is when we started to make them. Let me find my printing center. If only I can find it, right? This might predate the second printing center.
but in your drone printing center you get that option if you get the breakthrough so this would definitely help curb your population explosion if you're having an issue with population explosion I know it's probably a little bit of a, a twist to segregate based on sex so that they stop reproducing but it's in the game and this is probably for the reason so now people should walk between those domes they should rehome you won't get a population explosion i think believe on this uh on this save file i currently have 189 homeless while i have a thousand plus unemployed in this point in this game, I started to not worry too much about unemployed as long as they were well taken care of. It was trying to keep my trying to keep this food shortage from happening, which is in part because a lot of the food production is on this side of the map. And this side keeps failing to produce crops. I do have transportation routes to run it, but that that started to become our problem, trying to get food to where it needs to be. So we had some starvation, and this predates having the structures I have down here in this particular save file. If we go back to 800. We're still having the same food shortage. This side keeps giving me f crop failure, even though it's staffed with some botanists. It's giving me crop failure, but now our food is a little better. And on this complex, I learned that I could support, for the most part, all of those domes with this one dome with these farms. These domes also have the filters. And it's it's curbed my curbed my population growth. In fact, we've lost population and that is okay with me as far as keeping up the balances. If I dive into this, I'm going to have 408 unemployed and 11 homeless, which is a far greater outcome than what I had earlier. And age groups in this case, we are we are starting to to balance our our age groups a little bit more appropriately. Our adults still outpace our youth and our children, but that's usually going to be the general course of nature. However, our middle age is currently what we face in the United States is our baby boomer generation is all middle age to seniors now and the populations less the populations that are younger than that particular generation in that point in time have steadily decreased in size, which is okay for the most part because that means we have less stress you know, on cultural and, and institution systems in, in the country. But in this game, this is a very real thing and it, and it forces you to have to balance that. And so as these middle aged into senior, they will ultimately expire. I know it's a bit morbid, but they will ultimately expire. And our, our system will balance out again and we'll see. Now, one thing I want to point out is every so often I have zero Earthborn and then I get to something silly like 50 out of nowhere when I'm not bringing colonists from Earth. This colony is self-sustaining. It's, it's growing its own population. All of that stuff is amazing and awesome, but occasionally I seem to get, like now I have 15 Earthborn when previously I had zero. Who knows what that is? This was, again, pre-release a preview and now I'm on release preview or release a uh, game so maybe that was a bug that just happens to go here and there so if you see it um, report it maybe I don't know but again 
a lot of a lot of things going around as far as comments on on videos, comments on Reddit, comments on Twitter, questions, help the wiki, the paradox boards. Oh my goodness, how do I stop them from exploding in population? The only way I know how is to separate them between domes and have specific domes that have very specific services for those that are interested in having children. So in this case, everybody is welcome and I have services that cater to that, such as the nursery, the playground, a school, a university, a science center. So this dome would cater to those residents that are interested in carrying on with some offspring while others that are not interested in in the game in the slightest they they have nothing to worry about they don't really care about it they want to go on their lives and live humbly inside a dome where we get to uh get to have a uh, some shopping some diners uh medical center hang out in some gardens and go to the casino and others who would much rather farm um, are producing a ton of a ton of food this was also in helps to get food over to the side that keeps having crop failure i still don't know why but that concludes this tutorial i know it's a strange bizarre thought to most of us but this is a game the game mechanic is to separate people out put them in domes stop them from uh procreating will help curb as you can see, we had a, a much larger population before. Help curb that population explosion. And then if you're lucky, you can get a breakthrough to make enough people, uh, as far as like the bio robots are concerned, to fulfill all of your necessary jobs and let let humans continue on their life in a, in a life of luxury inside a dome on a red planet called Mars. Until next time, my name is Azili. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Stay amazing. Happy building. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. You can catch me live on Twitch five days a week, twitch.tv slash E-Z-I-L-I-I, starting weekdays, 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. GMT. And feel free to check out more content linked on the screen. Stay awesome. Stay amazing.